breaking news from SpaceX that has the entire space community buzzing. The next Starship launch, Flight 6, is officially set for Monday, November 18th, and this time, they're switching things up with a late afternoon window. Remember that breathtaking booster catch from Flight 5? The one that had space enthusiasts around the world glued to their screens? Well, SpaceX isn't just planning to repeat that historic achievement. They're aiming to push the envelope even further. The timing couldn't be more perfect. Just over a month after Flight 5's groundbreaking success, SpaceX has already secured their launch license and is ready to go. What makes this particularly impressive is how quickly they've moved. The FAA approval came faster than anyone expected, and SpaceX wasted no time announcing their next launch. For those who missed the last launch's spectacular booster catch in the chopstick arms, myself included, this is our chance to witness history in the making. And here's the best part. Instead of the usual crack of dawn launches we're used to, Flight 6 is scheduled for 4 p.m. Central Time, giving everyone a better chance to watch this engineering marvel in action. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in space exploration. Let's dive right in. SpaceX has officially released the full mission details for Flight 6, and they're pushing boundaries in ways that will revolutionize space travel. The company's press release outlines ambitious new objectives that build on Flight 5's historic achievements, while introducing fascinating new elements that deserve our attention. First, let's talk about what's new with the booster. SpaceX engineers have implemented critical hardware upgrades focusing on redundancy in the propulsion systems. Think of it as adding backup systems to your backup systems. Because when you're dealing with a rocket as massive as Super Heavy, you want every possible safety measure in place. They've also reinforced key structural areas based on data from previous flights, particularly focusing on points that experience the most stress during launch and landing. One of the most significant improvements involves the post-landing procedures. The team has developed a faster method to offload propellants from the booster after a successful catch. This might sound like a minor detail, but it's crucial for achieving SpaceX's goal of rapid reusability. The faster they can prep a booster for its next flight, the closer we get to Elon Musk's vision of rockets that operate more like commercial aircraft. The software controlling the booster's return has also received a major overhaul. SpaceX has implemented more sophisticated automated health checks and updated the criteria for attempting a catch. Here's how it works. Before the booster can attempt a return to the launch site, it needs to pass a series of automated system checks. Even then, the flight director must manually approve the catch attempt. If anything looks off, even slightly, the booster will automatically switch to Plan B, a soft splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. Moving to the upper stage, Starship itself, we're going to see some fascinating experiments. For the first time, they'll attempt to fire up a single Raptor engine while in space. This isn't just for show, it's a crucial test of the deorbit burn capability they'll need for future orbital missions. Think of it as a dress rehearsal for bringing Starship back from orbit. Perhaps the most intriguing part of this flight involves the heat shield experiments. SpaceX is taking a bold approach by intentionally removing entire sections of heat shield tiles from both sides of the ship. They're essentially creating controlled weak points to study how Starship handles re-entry under these conditions. This data will be invaluable for developing future catch mechanisms for the upper stage. The flight profile itself includes what I'd call a stress test. They're planning to push a Starship to fly at a higher angle of attack during the final descent phase. This will deliberately challenge the flap control systems to their limits, generating crucial data for future landing profiles. Speaking of data collection, the afternoon launch time isn't just convenient for viewers. It serves a scientific purpose. The ship will re-enter Earth's atmosphere over the Indian Ocean in daylight, allowing for unprecedented visual observations of its descent. This timing will give engineers the best possible view of how their experimental heat shield modifications perform under actual re-entry conditions. Looking ahead, SpaceX has already revealed plans for Flight 7's vehicle, which will incorporate major upgrades based on what they learned from this mission. 
We're talking redesigned forward flaps, expanded propellant tanks, and the next generation of thermal protection systems. Each flight builds on the lessons of the previous one, creating a rapid evolution of the Starship system. The mission's 30-minute launch window opens at 4 p.m. Central Time, and SpaceX will begin their live webcast approximately 30 minutes before liftoff. You can catch the stream on both X, formerly Twitter, and SpaceX's website. For those in the Starbase area, be prepared for sonic booms as the booster returns. It's literally the sound of history being made. For the space enthusiasts who've been following Starship's development, these upcoming tests represent something truly special. We're watching the iterative development of what could become the most powerful and versatile spacecraft ever built. Each successful test brings us closer to regular lunar missions, Mars exploration, and perhaps even Elon Musk's ultimate goal of making humanity a multi-planetary species. As we count down to this historic launch, it's clear that SpaceX continues to redefine what's possible in space exploration. Flight 6 isn't just another test, it's a carefully choreographed demonstration of cutting-edge aerospace technology, from the enhanced booster systems to the bold heat shield experiments. Each innovation brings us one step closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. I'll be there at Starbase to bring you exclusive coverage of this groundbreaking launch. To stay updated on all the latest developments leading up to the launch and beyond, make sure you're subscribed to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you're as excited as I am about Flight 6 and share your predictions for the mission in the comments below. Will we see another perfect booster catch? What do you think about the new afternoon launch window? Join our growing community of space enthusiasts where we celebrate every milestone in humanity's journey to the stars. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video with fellow space fans. Together, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in space exploration. See you all at the launch. And remember, space exploration isn't just about reaching new heights. It's about pushing boundaries and turning science fiction into reality, one launch at a time. The Department of Defense wants a piece of the action, but will Elon Musk sacrifice his Mars dreams for military dominance? Find out in our next video, where we delve into the potential takeover and its impact on the future of space exploration.